name's Elisa Manley and I am a EMT with Skagit County Ground Search and Rescue. Um, I've been a member for a little bit over five years. My daytime job is a medical assistant as well as a mom to two little kids. Today we're going to talk about um, hydration and filtering your water, how important that is in the backcountry setting. Keeping up with your daily water intake is super important um, for a couple of key factors. It helps keep your joints lubricated, helps regulate your body temperature, and it also helps deliver um, nutrients to your cells that keeps your organs uh, functioning properly. Let's talk about carrying water out in the backcountry and some filtration options. Um, good rule of thumb is to carry about a liter of water for every two hours of physical activity or hiking. Um, if you think about being gone longer than that, which most hikers are, or overnight, that's a lot of water to be carrying and a lot of weight in your backpack. Um, so we're gonna go over some filtration options in just a minute. Uh, something that I really like to do is my hydration bladder. This carries about a liter and a half and it's really helpful with the hose and nozzle when you're out um, being active, exercising. That way you don't have to stop, open your water. Um, but when that runs out, some good um, purifying devices for day hikers would be your filtration tablets and you can put that in your water bottle. Um, another good option for some little bit longer backpackers or overnighters is a squeeze pump. And another option would be to boil your water. Uh, you wanna make sure you do that for at least five minutes so that can kill any bacteria that may be in your water. If you're interested in more educational information or you're interested in becoming a Skagit County Search and Rescue member, hit the link below. Thanks for watching. I hope everyone has a wonderful day and you stay well hydrated out there.